So for today's show, I'm trying a new format. Just let me know in the comments if you like it or not. It's actually a bit harder to do than the previous format where I just go through a slideshow. There's a bit more editing involved, but I won't bore you with all that. Just let me know if you like it. The first thing I'm going to cover today, it's kind of a bit of a conspiracy theory. So if you don't like that, just skip. I'll put annotation in there to tell you what part of the video to get to to get to the good stuff. I always like speculation and mystery and trying to be on the forefront of figuring stuff out. And honestly, this is ongoing. So if you guys want to jump in and tell me any details or if you know of anything, just let me know. But basically, there was a bunch of leaks that came out today. Well, it was just one leak, but a bunch of files. It was like 800 megabytes worth of files. People are still going through them. And there was this one file with Nancy Pelosi's login credentials. And someone actually tried to log into the website with those credentials. And I think they actually got in, but they tried to reset the password. And when they requested a reset link, it actually sent it to a at goathill.com email address people looked up what goathill.com was and apparently it's a pizza restaurant in california so that in itself is a little bit weird like why would nancy pelosi have her reset password email address as goat hill some random pizza parlor place well it turns out that the guy that owns the place was actually one of her staff members at least in 2013 we don't know that many details right now but what we do know is that they actually donated to the local Democrats club multiple times, in fact. So basically right now we have Nancy Pelosi linked to this pizza place and then this pizza place donating to Democratic causes and clubs and whatnot. And it looks like she's been there a few times. And the thing is, the site was last updated in 2013 and her campaign ended in 2013. I kind of think everyone knows where I'm going with this, but it's all just conspiracy and speculation at this point. But here's what a lot of people are thinking. They're thinking that the campaign pushed money into the Goat Hill Pizza Place and then that Goat Hill Pizza Place donated that money back. So they basically took bad money and turned it into good money through donation. People are saying that they signed up for a worker's wage reimbursement program which basically means taxpayers could pay the wages of these workers because I guess the job situation was just so sucky. But it looks like the people that created that law got that money right back to them. So a lot of benefits, but we're going to move on now to the big story, which is TARP funding. So for those who don't know, in these leaks, there was actually a spreadsheet. And to back this up, the leaks were supposedly from the Clinton Foundation server and not the DNC, even though all these files are DNC related. So anyways, this spreadsheet goes through Republican and Democrat donators that got TARP money. And first of all, why would they even have this spreadsheet? Why would they want this information? Why would they keep this information? And most importantly, why would they have a return column? The spreadsheet is essentially keeping track of who donated and what return they got on their donation. And you can see a lot of them got one hell of a return. If you guys don't remember the TARP thing, that was just astronomical amounts of money going to these banks to bail them out, going to all these businesses. So it looks like what they did was the more money you put in, the more money you got out of the TARP funding. And I mean, that's a pretty spot on trend. You can see the more money you put in, the more money you get out. So this is a short video. There wasn't, I mean, there was a lot in these leaks, but it's pretty simple and basic and there's not much to explain. To go over it again, basically there was leaks and in these leaks there was a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet had information saying that the more you donated, the more you got out of TARP funding a few years back. And the questions for this, I guess, is first of all, what are these DNC files doing on the Clinton Foundation server? I mean, these should be entirely separate entities entirely separate businesses, organizations, whatever you want to call it. They should be very, very separate. 
And the second one is, is there more to come? And I think there definitely is. I mean, this is really getting good. This is starting to pick up a lot of pace and it's not even near the end of what they say they're going to leak more. So there should be a lot more to come. And what this means, basically it just means as much as people want it to mean. So to me it means a lot. To a lot of people watching it probably means a lot, but to the establishment shills it probably doesn't mean that much or whatever you want to call those people that just sit there and worship the ground these senators walk on. They think that the two parties are really that different, but when it comes down to it, it's there's people in power and there's not people in power. Uh, there's people that want to stay in power and then there's people with a little bit more respect for themselves and everyone else. Basically, I think the game just gets so shady when you get to a certain point in life and in success and power or whatever. But that's just my take. If you have anything else that you think is really substantial or that you want me to look into, leave it in the comments and I'll definitely look over it. I'll definitely give you credit too. I like giving shout out and working together with anyone and everyone to figure out and uncover different shady stuff. It's almost like a game. But that's gonna do it. I'll definitely make a video on Wednesday because apparently there's gonna be more leaks and these ones will be coming from WikiLeaks, I think. I'll have to double check, but a lot of people are saying that they're going to come out tomorrow, and and I think they're from credible sources, so definitely going to be a video tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Now which way do we go is the question.